In this video, I will be showing you guys how to transfer files from your phone onto your PS Vita. So this works on Android, that is what I'm going to be using it on. It should work on iPhone as well, you've just got to find some kind of FTP connection app. And yeah, this is a lot quicker than using your computer, so maybe you want to use your phone to download some games. That's probably quicker than actually downloading them um, over on your computer. So on my phone, the first thing I can do is download an app. Um, you can pretty much just get any VPK, any file. You can transfer any file across the tool of this, you know, plugin, VPK, um, I don't know, maybe even some pictures or something. I actually went with this. Um, I'm just on VitaDB right now. This is very simple. All you really do is scroll down and you just tap on download VPK right there. And then on my PS Vita, I'm just going to go ahead and just start up Vita Shell. Vita Shell is basically the main app we need to transfer files across from our phone, computer, you guys get the idea, it's basically just like a file browser. So on our PS Vita, what we're going to do, we're going to press select and um, maybe it will come up saying use this, like use a USB cable, if it does, just press on start and you want to change it from um, select button, so you can see it says USB right there, we actually want to change that to FTP, so we're going to put it on FTP, click on start and now if you press select again, the FTP server is going to be running. So now on our phone, what we want to do once we've got our game, we want to come out and this is actually the app I'm going to use. I use FTP Cafe. It's actually free on the Play Store. Um, well, there's two versions. There's a free version and there's a paid version. I actually got a cracked version, so mine is completely free. But if you type in FTP Cafe, as you can see, there's a pro version and then there's a free version as well. I just got the cracked version of the free version. But I'm just going to go and launch up FTP Cafe. And basically, what we want to do is just tap on new on where it says profile for profile name you can put in what you want so maybe just put in i don't know vita something like this ftp mode leave that on ftp for host this is where you want to put 192.168 one. That is pretty much where you put the main IP address that will go and host. You can do this with other apps as well. Um, this is just probably one of the easiest ones. Then what you want to do is just tap on more properties and then we're going to put in the port. So the port is always 1337. Sometimes the host address will change but the port will always stay the same. Then we're just going to click on save. Um, now we can just click on connect. It's going to say connecting, and it connects a lot faster than it does on my computer. That is one good thing to this. FileZilla can be slow. This is very fast. And now basically, um, you can see, so you've got local, which is your phone, and you've got remote, which is actually the PS Vita. So maybe you want to put something in your UXO. You can just tap to go onto the UXO. Then I'm going to find something on my phone. So I'm going to go into my downloads folder, I guess. And I'm going to copy across this VPK. I'm not even sure what this is, but I'm just going to copy across. So what you guys want to do, tap the file. It's going to have a little tick next to it, so just keep an eye on that. And then you just want to tap on Upload. And what this is actually going to do is send it from my phone onto my PS Vita. Now, if you get some kind of error, this is because you didn't select the correct folder. So now what we can do, we can press Cancel on this. We can actually go down into my UXO. And if we scroll all the way down, we can find out, did we get it? And yes, we did. We can actually go and install this VPK, and we can see if it works. So I really like this. It's really simple. Um, it can actually be a lot faster than transferring it across on your computer, which is very cool. So let's just install this VPK. I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out, I guess. So now we can just test out the VPK just to make sure it works, but I'm pretty sure it will. And yeah, this is really cool. You can do this with lots of different things. Um, you can do it for Android, you can do it on your iPhone. Maybe you can use a different kind of like FTP app. I know there are a few out there. This isn't like the only one. This is just one I found to be, um, you know, kind of simple. Oh. I didn't download the data folder. Oh, well, you guys get the idea. The VPK downloaded completely fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.